Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Series Edity. My name is Tanya. Happy Groundhog Day! Here's another reading today. Yes, the groundhog scene. It's shadow, another six weeks of winter, but you wouldn't know it from the view. I know, I know, I know. Six more weeks of winter. What? Let me try to get a view here. The animals here. You got what is it? Geese over there. I mean, this is like, look at this pond. It's crazy today. Let me take you along here. So over here, look at that. There's all kinds of, see, Canadian geese all over the place. Sorry. They're over there too. All right. So let's do a reading. Let's get this party started. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you tuned in. It's timeless, baby. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel and it helps me tune into you. So let's do this. Let's blow this pop stand and let's call in spirit. Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light, please give me a clear message for the collective, one that brings healing, hope, and understanding of their situation. Please protect me as I channel these messages and please protect my beautiful collective and thank you, spirit. We love you. All right, so let's start this. I got the tarot. Let's get to it. It's just going to be a fast read. I might do another one tonight. I'm not sure. It depends on how much times I got. But these are collective readings, right? Energy does not have a gender. So if I say he or she, please excuse and forgive. Check your placements. You could have more than one astrological sign in your chart if this does not resonate for whatever reason, okay? Uh, and past, present, or future energy could be at play if I haven't said that. Okay, so let's get a message. Spirit, can you give me a message, please, of what's going on in the situation? What energy am I channeling on this Groundhog Day? Thank you, Spirit. Strength in reverse. So somebody is looking for strength or somebody has, feels like they don't have the strength for whatever reason. And what do I have here? Eight of Cups. They're taking action. They're walking away from a situation that was unstable. There was That wasn't satisfying. They're separating from somebody, and that's Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. The Knight of Cups, this person wants to offer a romantic gesture out of their cup of love. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but they're in their fear and anxiety. And they're in remorse. So what is this remorse supposed to be? Why are they in remorse? Yep. Why are they in remorse, spirit? Thank you. All right. Ace of Cups is in the reverse. Because they didn't tell you how they felt, they had a, they were overwhelmed emotionally by you. So instead of using their logic and their intuition, they blocked that, is what I'm hearing. Justice, though, is coming. Truth is coming. I believe this person wants to not only tell you their truth, but take accountability for what they brought to the party that separated the two of you or ended this connection for some of you, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they want to team up with you, Three of Pentacles. They're the Emperor. They want victory in this connection. This might be... Your divine masculine, somebody that's very structured, somebody that's very controlled, possibly controlling of a situation. They wanted to control you. And when that didn't happen, you know, I don't believe that this person thought that they weren't capable of controlling you is what I'm hearing. And when you separated yourself from this person, it put them in their fear and anxiety. And then they ended up suffering karmic lessons because of it as well. But one of them is the loss of you has created sleepless nights in this person. They can't stop thinking about you is what I'm hearing. Nine of cups in the reverse, unhappiness and shattered dreams. Yeah, nightmares. Such disappointment. But it was a lot of immaturity that created the separation between the two of you. Confirm that, spirit. Tell me about this emperor. Thank you, spirit. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, they wanted the freedom to choose. Eight of swords in the reverse. But you create, or you wanted freedom to choose. Take what resonates with this. You had set up boundaries. Or maybe it's them that set up these boundaries. But they're seeing things in a new perspective. But a lot of 
self-imposed limitations they put upon themselves. Almost like denial of their feelings, denial of their happiness, 5.05 on the clock. They didn't really want to express how they felt about you. Because they felt like you would have control over the situation and you'd be in the driver's seat. And they really didn't want that because they're used to being the one that says when and if and how in a connection. And they felt like they had so met so many emotions that it triggered them to grip tighter on control. Is what I'm hearing. Ace of Wands, though, they want they're very inspired by you. They're very they want to create a new beginning with you. They want to take action towards you. Ace of Swords and the Wands is Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Aries, Leo Sagittarius, yeah. And the wand is at the ready. Now we also have Ace of Swords with the wand is at the ready as well. So this is a very sexually charged connection. This is a, a, a connection between the two of you that maybe could have been sexual for some of you. But this person wanted to be sexual with you is what I'm hearing. Yeah. There's a breakthrough they want. And clarity. They're seeing you in a different light. Not just about sex. They want you for more than just that. Maybe at first they came... They thought that they came at you that way or for some of you, they thought that that's all there was going to be in this connection and that's why they couldn't get you out of their head. But now they're thinking with their heart and not with their appendages, if you know what I mean. The Wheel of Fortune, though, there's going to be a change. There's going to be a destined happiness in this connection is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they might have had a lot of options and they didn't want to sell for just one option. But now you're the only option because those other individuals that they were seeing or having sex with or whatever the case may be were not as satisfying as just being with you. They didn't compare. And maybe they did compare in a lot of ways, but they thought each one of these people comes up lacking in the end. Seven of Cups. Yeah, a lot of illusions and choices. Something of escapism. But these... Whatever promises were told to this person about how wonderful it would be to be with this one or how this one would, you know, you would prosper with this one. Or if you just chose this one over here, like door number one, you know, you would make a lot of money with. Door number two, you'd look great as a couple. Door number three, you'd have wonderful kids together and you could have this wonderful idyllic life. All of those choices were unfulfilled promises it didn't none of them panned out for this person each relationship they went into turned into an inevitable end because what they really wanted was you you with the door they should have opened you with the door they should have walked through is what i'm hearing and they kick themselves and regret it because they knew intuitively on some level that you were the one but they didn't choose to exercise their logic in that way they used a head over heart choice and it left them in despair every single time page of wands in the reverse yeah they were closed minded about this and not very encouraged about it and I don't know if it's because of their past relationships with other people or other people external forces were you know, whispering in their ear about this connection, somehow they just really weren't thinking in their mind that this would work out, is what I'm hearing. Unfortunately, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Spirit, any more cards, please, before we move forward? And so they left you disappointed, but now they're just as disappointed as you were once upon a time. You moved forward with your life, and they stayed stuck in unhappiness. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn in the reverse, though. They might have been unreliable, unreliable, but now they're like completely obsessed with you. The hangman is here. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting and in suspense. Maybe they thought that you would come back to them. Maybe they thought that you would chase them. But with each of these illusions, reality set in because you didn't chase them and you didn't come back to them. And now they're realizing what they lost. Five of wands in the reverse. Yeah, they desire you, but they also... I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of manipulation here on their part. They tried to control 
the narrative. They thought that they could write the ending of the story. But each one of us has free will. And you had the right to choose your destiny as well. And you had the right to say no. 10-10 on the clock and that's what you did. You wanted more than what they were going to offer you. Five of swords in the reverse. But now they want a peaceful resolution to this. They want to end the conflict. They want to compromise. There was injustice here. Justice is in the reverse. Maybe false accusations by other people. This is what I'm saying. But if they're with a karmic, they're not happy in that connection. And they're going to end up inevitably... Whether it's today, tomorrow, or next year, week, whatever the case may be, there's an inevitable end to this connection that they're in, and it's going to lead to divorce if they are married. The magician in reverse, yeah, manipulation, trickery, illusions. You know, they presented themselves as somebody that was trustworthy. They presented themselves as this prize that any person would be so lucky to have, and that's not how they felt inside. It's not how they felt inside. And that you would be lucky to get their crumbs, and you were like, uh, I'll pass. They never thought that would happen. Never, never, never did they think you were going to walk away from this person. They never thought you would walk away. They're devastated now, 11, 11 on the clock. Two of Wands, now they have a decision to make. They had two paths to choose. Whether they should stay stuck in this situation that they're in with a karmic, if they are with karmic, or whether they should move forward with you and try to double back and try to get you back into their life. Because at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Yeah. There's a lot of... It feels like waste. It feels like blockages. It feels like financial lack. It doesn't feel like any growth is happening in this person's life. No matter how hard they work, it doesn't feel like anything is panning out for this person. Because you were their good luck charm. You were the person that they should have picked. Is what I'm hearing. And it's left the strength. Yeah, in reverse. Low confidence. Vulnerability. But they still get the pride and ego, man. And this is an emperor. This is a person who makes those head over heart decisions, a logical person. And a stubborn person as well. Not that I need to tell you any of that stuff, you know. We have the nine of cups. We have, we have happiness here, though. Trusting in the universe is the right way to go. This person didn't use their intuition. And now they're seeing you moving forward. They're seeing you prosper. They're seeing you happy. They're spying on you. You know, they haven't let you go that way. And they're wondering what they can do to get you back in their good graces. Spirit, give me some advice here. Angels, please, of what this person can do. The only thing I can say is keep going, keep glowing. And your high vibration is drawing this person back. If that's what you choose to want. If you want this person back. Some people don't want this person back. Some people will say I'm all set. But if that's the case, if you're not one of those people, keep moving forward. Because they're going to follow. This is your life's purpose from the Archangel Michael. Yeah, so you have a life purpose, a destiny. And it's saying, you know the details of my divine life purpose, Archangel Michael. And I ask you to help me to align it with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I am taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. So you have a career path that you're taking. And it's going to be blessed. You have a life purpose. And spirit is saying, go for that. Go towards that. Because there's blessings in that. That's all I have for you today. And Empress Aries 888, please like and subscribe and join my tribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.